welcome back to another video um this week um oh well did you guys see the new intro um yeah i worked on that all it took me a whole day to do but um i finally got up a new intro for you guys i have been wanting to change the intro for a while i haven't been really happy with the last one and yeah i just i wanted to show more about what my channel is about and stuff so yeah i decided to change her make her uh show like a little preview of what you're gonna get into in on my channel and stuff like that but uh yeah the, so i'm obsessed with the intro now um but uh yeah this week i asked you guys to let me know if you wanted to meet wanted me to draw you guys um for the next video which was uh drawing your youtube profiles um so i told you guys if you wanted to uh be in the next week's video or this week's video now um to uh, comment a smiley face and uh, let me know and then you know have your uh youtube profile pictures ready and so yeah um the girl that suggested this video to me is so her that's the one i'm drawing first um so yeah thank you so her she has a youtube channel if you guys want to check it out um it's, it was up on the screen uh, I don't know. I, I mentioned it at the end of my yet last week's video, so I guess a lot of people don't watch to the end of the video because a lot of people didn't. Only um, had one other person, um, which is later on in this video, who um, said they wanted one. So I was like, okay. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a shorter video than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna just do a mon montage of a bunch of me drawing a bunch of different um, subscribers. But uh, yeah, I enjoy doing this because it helps me brush up on my um drawing likeness and drawing um like drawing from reference is okay but i get more dynamic people by doing um actual real people i mean i do real people from pinterest but they're all like the same kind of you know look so i am happy i get to do some some people that look different and are more interesting to draw <laughs> and um yeah i had fun doing this and trying to experiment especially with this one for so her um practicing you know doing portraits i do struggle doing portraits so much i don't know why but um yeah this and then i struggled with it um i struggled with it a little bit because in her picture it's um pre profile picture is a little um it has this like a uh, filter on it um not the the rainbow uh light filter but the um filter of it like being um zoomed in in one part in the middle of her face and then everything else is on the regular is the regular picture so i had a hard time figuring out where everything especially for the hand was supposed to go especially in that pose but um yeah i it took me that's what took me the most uh the most time to do but uh, yeah everything else was easy to do um i did struggle with um making her eyes look not too big and then also making them look like her like making her look like how she is and um i struggled with the hairline i don't know why but i was trying to get that because she has a, a round face so i wanted to make sure that was there to make it, her likeness show through and then her hair i tried to make the hair look very similar to how it is in the picture but I don't know, I struggled with that too. I don't know why. But um, yeah, and then I also struggled with having her face turned too much. Um, it was too tilted, so I had to keep fixing that a couple times um, throughout the drawing. But yeah, everything else was uh, quick and smooth. Um, the hair turned out fine. Um, it turned out great, actually. It turned out pretty good. Um, everything else turned out good. The coloring process was easy. This is a sketching process that took me a little bit. And once everything was colored, I was like, mm, let me move a couple things. So, yeah, that's what I did for So Her. But, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, especially, I love doing people with glasses because I also wear glasses. So, and I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people wear glasses. So, I like practicing um, doing glasses. I just did a commission for a girl with glasses. So, um, the more practice I get with that, I think the more it's becoming a little bit better. And I'm trying to still find out how I like drawing glasses on people. Um, whether I want to just keep it as an outline or if I just want to keep it as a, like I outline it, outline the thing and color the inside of it. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But, um, yeah, I had fun drawing her. Uh, thank you to her for the idea. And, yeah. I have been 
up to what I've been up to lately is just working on um, finishing up a commission I, I finished it already um, I finished school um, the 24th so yeah I'm happy about that um, oh yeah thank you guys for so much love on my um, the YouTube short I put up um, what was it last week yeah I put up before the other video and um, it all of a sudden had like 950 something views or something like that. So I was like, oh wow. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for that. Um, the iArt book video is doing really well. I, I think it had 1.4 thousand views. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for the love. I know a good chunk of you guys came from that video of my subscribers. So thank you guys for subscribing. Hello. Um, my name is Michelle. I know I mentioned this in the middle of the video, but sorry I, I always forget to do an intro for myself but um yeah i um have been also um art related been working on trying to save up to get a car because i'm 22 and i don't have a car and it's hard to get to places because nobody really wants to take me anywhere and it's hard to visit my friends um i just recently got the vaccine uh, the first dose of the vaccine so um yeah i've been visiting my friends a little bit more um, I went out to a renaissance fair um, here in Georgia um, the was it last weekend or the weekend before yeah weekend before um, with my friends from college and then I um, the weekend that weekend before I think or two weekends before we went out to dinner in Atlanta because you know I went to SCAD so we um, met up all in Atlanta and um, yeah that was fun and yeah I um, been seeing them more i have a uh, one of my friends graduated this um month so she's having a graduation party um in june so i'm going to that um, by then i'll be fully vaccinated because my vaccine is june the june 10th and her party is the 12th so i'm excited i just have a lot of places to go so i just have to save it for a car um that's the most reasonable thing to do right now but um yeah uh, it's uh it's uh, exciting times I'm happy the vaccine's out so you know we could you know come back to some sort of normalcy and things like that so that's why I just I hurried up when, especially when they said 12 to 15 our whole family just will left and we because everybody in my family is like 12, um, 13 and up so we're like okay let's all get the vaccine so that's what we did um, I was happy I was finally I was ready to get my vaccine um, I want to go to the movies again. I miss, I love movies and going to the movie theater. So I was happy to do that again. For my second subscriber, her name is Dana Harris. Um, this one was a lot more easier to do because it was full, it's like a full character. And I'm like, this is my zone. Usually, you know, I, this is where I shine through mostly. So I didn't have too many problems with drawing her at all. Um, other than the fact that the biggest problem was I'm doing YouTube like um, profiles so there's no way to zoom in on somebody's YouTube profile I mean I screenshot it and, and cut it and, and cropped it but I still couldn't see exactly like how her face looks so I did in her shoes those were the two main things I couldn't make out so I drew to the best of my ability I'm sorry Dana um, what her face looked like and stuff like that and what I th I think based on how the light was hitting it what her face turned out is what what it looks like so um I am really proud of how this one turned out it was um love her pose because you know she looks so, so happy in the sun and um you're very beautiful Dana so, so you too so her um and so it was just when you have easy references to work with it just makes the drawing more fun and you want to work on it so um yeah thank you guys for making this video possible um thank you guys for submitting your um submitting your uh youtube profiles and stuff like that for me to draw i had fun but thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you guys next week with a new video um I don't know what it is. Oh, I do know what it is. Somebody reached out to me on Instagram and told me they want me to do a re a drawing. They really liked my Brat series, so they wanted me to do a drawing of this collection of Barbies from 
is it 1960s i think around then so i thought that would be like a really fun thing to do especially because i like the clothes they're wearing and things like that so that is going to be next week's video but um thank you guys for 422 subscribers um that means a lot to me um and yeah i'll talk to you guys next week with another video bye guys Just need a minute.